you know, when, when you fail to, to meet your, your goals, it's, you know, it's, it's disappointing. You know, it, it, everyone needs to look, at, look in the mirror. Miserable, tough, hard to deal with. That is how a number of Toronto Maple Leafs describe what it's been like over the last couple of months to get over the disappointment of last season. On Wednesday, the team is marking it as a new chapter in their journey towards the Stanley Cup as it's day one of their training camp. Today is our opportunity to move past that and uh, begin to focus on the things that we control in the present to change that story in the future. The Montreal Canadiens are headed to Winnipeg for the second round. It's been 114 days since the Leafs lost in Game 7 of the first round of the playoffs to the Montreal Canadiens, blowing a 3-1 series lead. In Game 1 of that matchup, Leafs captain John Tavares went down in a scary incident on the ice, and this Saturday will be playing in his first game since then. Obviously, I don't have any memory of the incident. I didn't have any symptoms. I didn't have any pain, you know, other than just being really exhausted, walking out of the hospital, sleeping two or three hours. Um, um, you know, really, I, I kind of got back to myself relatively uh, quickly in, in the matter of those first couple days after I got some rest and some sleep. Here's a chance scores. There are a number of questions surrounding the Leafs going into camp, including when will Austin Matthews be able to play after getting surgery on his wrist this summer? Right now, I've just been skating on the ice and um, trying to keep up with uh, my cardio and uh, you know just the rest a little bit. So until I can come, uh, you know, start handling the puck a little bit, um, hopefully next week sometime. And Morgan Riley, he's going into the final year of his contract with the Leafs. You all know how I feel about being a Leaf, um, but there is a business aspect to it. Um, I'm I'm going to take care of myself. I feel great. I'm I'm, I'm prepared for the season. Um, I'm going to really focus on having a good start, and then, like I said, the rest will take care of itself. A constant message the players kept saying over and over in day one was the past is the past. It's time to move forward. Uh, it's the past. Nothing I can do now to change anything. Um, it's been done with. Uh, for me, it's just now looking forward to the here and now. When the Leafs play on Saturday, the fans in attendance will have to have proof of vaccination or negative COVID test. For Toronto forward William Nylander, he himself isn't fully vaccinated yet. Obviously, you can see I have a mask on. Um, I'm not fully uh, vaccinated yet, so I had a couple uh, medical uh, things I had to take care of, and I'll be fully vaccinated by the uh, beginning of the season. The Leafs' first preseason game is this Saturday when they host the Montreal Canadiens at the Scotiabank Arena. As of right now, only 1,000 fans are allowed into the building, but the Leafs are hoping that number could rise. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.